Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna take my Traxxas 2021 Ford Bronco and we're gonna take it out to the park or to a trail or we're gonna find somewhere to drive it to test all these mods. I have done a ton of stuff to it. I cannot wait to show this thing to you. I have been dying to drive it, but I didn't want to drive it till I could like get it on camera. So I, uh, I've been holding off. But now today, we're finally gonna get this thing out and take it for a spin. So here is my little Bronco. I'm a little, look how, look how high it sits up off the ground now. I have the lift kit on there. I have all kinds of stuff to this thing. It looks, I love the stance of this thing with those tires and everything. It just, I think it looks fantastic. I don't know how well it drives or how well it's going to handle, but we're going to find out today. So I've done so much stuff to this thing. I don't even know where to start. I guess let's talk about the body. I have got the light kit inside of here. So we have reverse lights and brake lights and the headlights. And you might get to see some of those working in some of the shots today it's kind of hard to see in the daylight uh in person it's not so hard i don't know how well it shows up on camera you can see i got the brushless motor that tractor puts out the villainian or however you pronounce it i put the motor and esc in there i took the brushed motor out of it so it doesn't really crawl all that well but it's it's pretty fast we'll see how fast it is today i have got the engine sound noise maker whatever it's just taped in for now i'm actually going to put it up here this is the 2s battery i'm going to run the speaker off of i have got an adapter coming that is going to fit right here that will allow me to hook the speaker directly into the 3s battery it'll make it even louder it will sound better and i won't have to carry this battery here around with me i have got the rock crawling lights installed you can see there and that lights up the whole underside everything underneath there is super well lit up you can see it very easily you can see i got the traxxas um winch on there and it has a little remote so you can actually control it that's pretty cool i like that it's pretty neat i have geared it down it comes with an 11 tooth pinion i have put a 10 tooth pinion on there so it's geared down there it is also geared down inside of here i have the underdrive gears on the front and the rear and so it goes one tooth smaller on the pinion and one tooth bigger on the spur i believe and so it's going to gear it down there even more and that's going to help out with having these big old tires on there these are the ranger tires from j concepts and the midwest rims inside of there and i do have the traxxas lift kit and so it gives us a whole extra one inch of clearance and that was that took all day long to put on it was crazy and also i have got a high torque servo the traxxas servo the 2255 high torque servo the traxxas puts out it is on there and it's going to give us plenty of power for that thing it uh i am i am just i don't know what else i can do to it i've done so much to it i guess there's a bunch of like weight mods and stuff like that but i'm not worried about that i'm going to you know drive it like a monster truck i don't know how well it's going to like st steer and and handle because when this turns it grabs the fenders and stuff like that but we're going to see how well it works out for us today and I also swapped out the axles inside of here with the drive shafts. You can see the little metal ones that stick out right there. They've been replaced with the stronger, more durable drive shafts that Traxxas puts out. And so we don't have to worry about snapping an axle or breaking an axle. Hopefully, it'll be able to handle all that torque we're putting through there. So you can see the lights are working. And let's take the winch and you can... Oh, wrong way. So you can winch that like that. There we go. Let's see if we can hear the, the audio on there. You can't really hear the, the thing. I can't wait to get that 3S battery on there. It's going to be so much louder than what it is. That thing's quick, isn't it? Switch back the high gear. All right, my GPS started working, so we're going to see how fast this thing goes. And that's low gear. You can hear the fenders rubbing a little bit when it turns. And that's uh, 10 miles an hour. It was, uh, it was 7 miles an hour 
with the regular gears and the regular tires on there so it, it picked up three miles an hour by having those bigger tires on there so let's uh switch it to high gear man that is a fast trx4 <laughs> it might be a little bit too fast. <laughs> 21 miles an hour. I, I think it was 18 miles an hour before, before I put these big old wheels. And it's got the underdrive gears on there. So remember, it's, it's geared down. Uh, it's geared down at the pinion. It's geared down with the underdrive gears, but it's geared up at the tires. And that's how much more speed you can pick up by putting bigger tires on it. That's, that's crazy. See how bad gonna see how bad it rubs. It might not even be drivable. I don't know. See, it, it wants to catch the, the inside of the fenders like that. I did change the endpoints of the servo, but I might have to do it again. See, it's real good in a straight line. <laughs> well, now the engine starts back up. It is just hitting that left front fender really bad. A lot of the differentials are put in low gear. It's like a real monster truck jump. <laughs> that was so cool. I stiffened up the suspension, so maybe I'll stop grinding right inside of there so much. You can see. You can see a little bit where it's grinding that 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 fender wheel a little bit. So let's let's see if it uh, keeps doing it. Oh, it's already sounding better. Yes, yeah, that's, that's so much better. So if you ever wonder why monster trucks have four wheel steering, this is why. Look at that turn radius. <laughs> Not not very good, is it? <laughs> that was so cool. No. You know what? If I had the differentials locked, that would have saved it. So we're going to lock the differentials to see if we can pull something like that off again. The uh, It doesn't actually have differential fluid in it. It just has lubrication in the diff. So they're they're basically like, like totally free whenever you have them unlocked. That was epic.
Now, I don't know what you guys think, but I am loving this thing. Of course, I'm a fan of bouncy munch trucks. So back in the day, with like Bigfoot and stuff like that, when they first came out, the trucks only had like six inches of suspension travel. And so they're real bouncy. Go back and watch some of the, the 1980s videos of Bigfoot and watch it like climb over cars. It's slow, it's super bouncy. But now they've got like, like 30 inches or 36 inches of suspension travel like mush trucks do. So they can soar through the air and they land real soft. And a lot of RCs mimic that same setup. But you know, whenever you jack up a truck, you lift the truck up off the ground like a normal street truck, you still don't have that much suspension travel and so the truck is still kind of bouncy and that's how this one's driving it drives like that and it just brings back memories of my childhood i just love munch trucks like that my clod buster is just same way it's the, it's the exact same way and so this thing you know uh it's just you know super bouncy and i know that's not what you want for performance but it's not about performance it's about fun it's about fun and i am having a blast with this suspension setup the way this thing is right here I also have these fling kings for it. So, I mean, you can see how aggressive that tread pattern is <laughs> compared to the, the Rangers. He's also J Concepts, the fling king juniors. So if I get some loose terrain or if I go through some mud or whatever, this is what I'll put on there. I might not run them today unless I find something I can run them through, but these are going to go on there at some point. We're going to get this thing soaking wet. All right, guys, we made it out to the park. Doesn't look like there's anybody out here, so we'll be by ourselves. And I'm not going to run the engine sound machine part of it because I don't want to be any more like disruptive than I have to be. I want to kind of keep it quiet if I can. I don't want to disturb anybody, so we're not going to run the engine sounds. But this thing, just walking out to the trail, I'm having a blast. Look how fast this thing goes across the grass. It just zips right across that grass, no trouble at all. I don't know how well you can tell. I got the rear differential locked and the front one's open. So it lets it kind of break the rear end free. And so as you're driving through here, it just kind of drifts a little bit. See how it does that? That's so cool. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> We got a water hazard over here. <laughs> Try to keep it out of it. Oh, this is a drop off. Let's see if we can go down it. We're gonna see if we can come up it too. Easy, easy, easy. We're locking both differentials, putting in low gear. Uh, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Make itself fall over and back on its wheels. Let's uh. Put in high gear and see if we can uh, jump up it. It might just flip backwards. <laughs> I can't believe it did that. That was awesome. <laughs> that was not what I was trying to do. Totally meant to do that.
got this really big stick right here in the way. Let's see if we can climb it. I like the differential. Let's see. No problem at all. All right, we got another really big stick. Let's see how it does. Let's go ahead and lock the differential. Easy climb. Oh, can we get up there? I don't think I can crawl up it. I could probably hop it up there. Let's see. There it goes, and it falls right off. <laughs> no, it gave up. I lost the wheel. Great. And it will not, and I don't have my tool with me. Uh, well, I guess we are. Man, I didn't strip it. Nah, it just came right off. All right, I guess I'm, I might be carrying this thing back. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. That tire fell off, which is funny because I, I'm sitting there at the car. I'm like, should I bring my backpack or not with the tools in it? And now I'm like, now nah, I'm only going to be out there for a little bit. I, surely nothing's going to go wrong, right? And the one time I don't bring my tools is the one time a tire fall. I've never had a tire fall off from my TRX4 before, but I've never had tires on this big before. So uh, tell me what you guys think. I know some of you are going to say, man, you shouldn't be lifting up a TRX4 like that. You're supposed to crawl with it. It's a trail truck. They sell a lift kit for it. I installed a lift kit to it and I love it. I actually love this thing. It is so much fun. It is so much fun. Even like without a lift kit, a TRX, uh, the Bronco is super fun with the locking and unlocking differentials, that two speed transmission. I know some people like want the sport cause they don't want to have all the extra stuff. I think the extra stuff is worth it. I think it's absolutely worth it to get a, a Bronco or one of the, the higher price ones for that two speed transmission and lock, locking differentials. And I switch the differentials. Normally the uh, you lock your front first and then your rear. I switched it so you can lock your rear and then your front. That way I can have a rear locking differential that I can make it spin around and stuff when I'm playing around in the dirt. I love it. And especially out here on the trails, it's a blast. If this looks like it's fun to you, it is. It's even more fun for, for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the mods that I did to my Bronco. And I hope some of you aren't quite that upset that I did it to this Bronco. But uh, thank you much for watching. Subscribe to channel. You have to subscribe. Like the video if you like it. I'm super tired. It's almost dinner time. I got to get out of here. And I will see you guys later.